Mean Girls 2024 is a retelling of the 2004 movie that is one of the most, um, you know, popular things in pop culture ever and also spawned a Broadway musical that has been just as successful if not more and this is kind of the best of both worlds situation because while the marketing may not give this away to you, this is a movie musical. In this movie, you follow Katie Heron once again, played by Anguri Rice in this version as she has been homeschooled her entire life, she's just come to high school and obviously it's a very different thing. And in the middle of all this, she runs into The Plastics, which is run by Regina George, played by Renee Rapp in this one, who has the entire school in her grip. Now, Katie has to find a way to keep navigating all this because she's meeting people she likes. Maybe that might not go over well. Even if that sounds familiar to you, because yeah, it is because it doesn't really narratively change much from the original movie and I'm assuming the Broadway musical, which I haven't seen, but if I had to guess, uh, which is going to spawn a question, which is why this then? Why is there a retelling in 2024? To, my, to which my answer is why not? Because Mean Girls remains very, very popular. Now, you could argue that you don't really need to do this, but then at the same time, my theater audience will beg to differ with you. Because I showed up today, and there were two rows, which was just of fans of the movie and the musical, who were just singing along and having such a great time to it and quoting lines. Like when Regina says, get in losers, that very popular moment, people were jumping in their seats. You know, or something like, stop trying to make fetch happen, it's not gonna happen. Like all of those moments are so wonderfully encapsulated in pop culture at this point. And to see that celebrated all these years later, sometimes you need a movie that just manages to do that. And I will say if you enjoyed the original movie and the musical or one of the two, whatever you've seen, there's no world where you don't enjoy the 2024 Mean Girls. This is a very fun movie. It just decides to have as much fun and have as much energy as those other projects and it just commits to that. And I do respect the fact that the film doesn't try to lower that in any such way. It's still just as over the top and crazy as the original and it manages to retain that tone in pretty great ways. Like I said, doesn't dynamically change anything, but then why would you need it to? A lot of this is due to the fantastic cast that they've put together. Everybody is really, really good in this movie. Particularly Anguri Rice, who does a really good job as KD. I thought she was fantastic, but the absolute star of the movie, as you're gonna hear from every review, is Renee Rapp as Regina George. I think Rachel McAdams did a brilliant job in the original, but I think what she's done over here, and I believe she's also Regina in the Broadway musical, is phenomenal. So I have to give a lot of praise to the fact that she manages to bring the stage to screen really, really well. And she is easily the standout, has an amazing vocal range as well. I haven't seen her in anything, but now I'm very curious to see what else she's done. She's a fantastic actress and definitely one to keep an eye out for. The musical numbers are mostly pretty great too. Some of them not quite as well structured as some of the other ones. Like there's a couple of them which very abrasively start in the middle of something and you're like, okay, that does, that doesn't quite flow into the scene as well as, you know, the previous one did or like there's one where early on with Regina and then the next one that happens is in a classroom and I'm like, okay, the, the switch up on that one, one worked better than the other. So it just, some of those things could have been, you know, made a little bit better, I think. But overall, I had a great time with those as well. It's a very well shot movie, very well directed as well. And again, the dialogue, nothing much to write home about. But again, most of it is rooted in pop culture. You know the quotes, you know what's said at this point. And a lot of that is in this movie. There's a lot of fan service as well. You'll have a few references here and there to the original version of it. There's one that will get a lot of praise from people. I'm sure of that. That was really nice to see, but really, I don't really have to say much more about a movie like this because I already talked about the original movie. This is true, if you go on my channel, there is a review for the 2004 version of Mean Girls, which I did on a dare. This is true, I was dared to review that movie and find some issues, and I did. But I prefaced that review and this one also with the idea of, yes, it's not a perfect movie, it definitely has its problems, but then again, 
what are you really going for? I said this twice in reviews over the last two days. First the beekeeper and now this. When you're getting what you paid for and when you're going to get exactly that and the movie commits to that, I think that's fine. That's all you need. I think with Mean Girls, you get a very fun retelling of the story. It's very entertaining. It's mostly funny. Some jokes don't land as well as other jokes do. But overall, I can say that I had a very solid time with it and I recommend seeing it. I mean, me recommending seeing it doesn't really change much. If you are somebody who was a fan of Mean Girls, you were already going to go see it. You've already got your friend group together, your family, friends, whoever it is, and you're going to the theater. Either tonight, you've already gone maybe, you're going tomorrow over the weekend, that's it. So me saying that doesn't really make a difference, but I hope you guys enjoy it as well. There's a lot to really, really like in this movie, and yeah, that's really all I can say about it. I'm gonna give Mean Girls 2024 a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's about the same as I gave the original one, right? Like, in terms of ratings, but again, in terms of enjoyment, in terms of what the movie is, you can go higher, honestly. Ratings don't matter over here. <laughs> the number does not matter. Just go have a fun time with the movie. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to more videos very, very soon. And as always, if you like this, please do subscribe, and I will see you guys in the movies.